Today, we're gonna take this cheap plastic storage container and turn it into fine furniture. And today's video is brought to us by Squarespace. I got this guy from Amazon. It's cheap, it's like 16 bucks. We all need storage. I kind of like the design. I'm gonna keep the drawers and make a case for this. If you've been watching, you know I don't enjoy making drawers. Nobody enjoys making drawers. Don't worry, it's not gonna go in the trash. We'll talk about what I'm gonna do with this later on. The drawers have this curved front that matches the front of the face here. So I'm going to keep that. I'm gonna keep the overall basic shape, but we're just gonna use some beautiful, beautiful wood. Basically gonna trace this bottom piece onto a piece of plywood, but give myself a little extra space so I have a little bit of room for joinery. I've got my template cut. I've got these two pieces of what I think is English walnut. This came from my old art teacher and it was sitting in his barn for decades. It, some of it's rotten, some of it has uh, some, some bug damage to it. It's just been sitting in my storage for a couple of years. It's time to use it. I think this is the perfect opportunity to get this out of my way. We all have walnut that we just need to get rid of, right? That's a common thing. We just have too much walnut laying around and we gotta use it just to make space for. I was hoping to resell these boards in half so I could get four out of there, but there was so much damn twist and bug trails in there that uh, I just had to keep planing down until I got them flat. So now I'm gonna glue these two together. Should still be enough, just enough. The big panel has dried. I ran it through the planer one more time just to smooth it out. Now I'm going to cut out the four pieces that I need. So the plastic drawers have these little nubs on here to allow it to not fall out. So what I have to do is route a little groove on the underside of each one of these for those little nubbins to do their thing. And then it has to be stopped on the front. So stop, 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 stop. Got those grooves all in there so it fits right over the tabs. So the next thing I wanna do is I just wanna create a little chamfer on the bottom of each one, mostly because this one chipped out and I gotta figure out a way to fix that. Chamfers are greater than roundovers. Chamfers are for closers. Coffee's for closers only. We have our four layers, so now it's time to work on the sides. I'm gonna have the grain go up and down, but in there, I'm gonna have it inset a little bit so there's this little reveal on these side pieces. I've left myself enough room to do so. So I've got a bunch of these boards that I need to glue up to make them deep enough for this. Sometimes you gotta get a little creative to get the boards aligned. These boards are nice and dry, so the next thing I gotta do is rip them and snip them. Nobody says rip them and snip That's a stupid, we're never saying ripping and snipping again. That's, that's dumb. Like snip, you don't snip wood. You rip wood, you cross cut wood. Rip them and snip them, give me a break.
before I attach these, I have to cut a 45 on the inside of here to match this little 45 right here and right here. And this will determine the stop, how far back it goes. I am gonna glue these in place. And then once that glue has a little bit of time to set, I'm gonna reinforce it with dowels. Got the bottom two thirds done. The top section is ready to go and I want to attach it with dowels. So I've gone ahead and drilled the six holes here and then I'm gonna use these little dowel centers and stick them in the hole. And then when I set it up here, it creates a little indentation letting me know where to drill the holes up top. It's one of the jumping ones. Ah! Where'd it go? Ah! Where'd it go? <laughs> We're hand underneath there. Not in my shop. For the top, I'm gonna route a little groove along here for a place to put your pen or pencil. I double-sided tape this piece of wood down, which is going to be my guide. And then once I do that, I'm going to create three little walls along the outside here for a place for your, your documents. I just thought of the perfect plan on what to do with this when it's all done, and it's gonna drive some of you absolutely bonkers. But that's okay. That's okay, we're here to have fun. We'll get to that at the end of the video. Right now, I wanna work on adding a little bit of flair to the drawers. But before I do that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Remember the ultimate pizza eating table that we made a couple weeks ago? I think it's so good that it needs its own website. I'm starting fresh and brand new, so I'm just going to click on this tick mark for portfolio and choose a template. All of this can be changed later on. None of this is permanent. I just need a quick starting point so I can get this up as fast as possible. Site title, the ultimate pizza eating table. We need to replace this photo right here. Let's delete that, add a new image. I'm gonna upload my file from the desktop. That's a good shot right there. It's doing its thing, it's reformatting the photo. That way it works on the computer, mobile, iPad, tablets, whatever you got. Delete that, remove that. See, it puts all this placeholder stuff in there so you have a nice starting point. And you don't have to worry about layout and design and all that. You can just use their dummy copy and, and their placeholder images and just replace it with your own. I am going to add a section and I know that I want this to be images. It's going to give me some choices to get started. I'm gonna go with the simple basic one. I'm a simple basic guy. I wanna add the video from the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add section. I'm gonna choose video, gonna edit this, gonna paste in my YouTube link. I can size this to any size that I want. I want it to go the full width. Click on done. This is the reason I've been using Squarespace for so long because it really is that easy to set up. 
So visit squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's time to get back to this cabinet. We're gonna decorate the front of these drawers a little bit. And then I know this is gonna drive some of you nuts, but I found the perfect place for this to live. Next up, I wanna add a little bit of flair to the drawers. They are semi-transparent, so I was thinking I could take some colored acrylic and then cut it to the shape and it'll show through the front here. And I'm gonna do that on the Rayjet R400. <laughs> that came out so great. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna do with this. Look at the grain on there. That came out really, really good. The acrylic inserts, they just fit perfectly in there. And the little tabs fit into that stock dado. So I just tilt it in, pops into place, and then has a stop so the drawers don't fall out. All right, let's load this guy up in the Impala and take it to its new home. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do with that plastic case, I'm gonna cut it up into little pieces, throw it into the blender, cut it into smaller pieces, and then mix that with epoxy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but if you have any good suggestions, let me know, because we could have some fun with that. It's all about having fun here at Make Something, so if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, you will definitely like the pizza table video. We took a $40 Amazon table and turned it into the ultimate pizza eating station. It's got a built-in pizza warmer, napkin dispensers, and more. It's a really, really fun video. Over on Patreon, we do a weekly behind the scenes video called Sundays with Dave. Just talking about what's going on in the shop, little tidbits that I don't throw in the videos, and Patreon members get exclusive access to the Discord server. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.